Hi, hello, welcome back. My name is Dev Raj. And today I want to talk a bit about self-sabotage, which is a topic I know many subscribers to my channel are very interested in. And by self-sabotage, what I mean is when you have a plan to move forwards, to do something good for yourself, to expand, to take a risk, and somehow you kind of find a way to not move in that direction. That is what I'm calling self-sabotage. The first thing to understand about this is that it is defense. It is a protection. And actually recognizing this is very, very important because many people do not want to admit to themselves that they are in protection, that they are protecting themselves from the world, from the intensity of emotions, from taking a risk and maybe getting turned down. Maybe it doesn't go your way. And so they're in this kind of protective mode, self-sabotaging, avoiding taking risks, but then they don't really admit it to themselves. And this makes it very, very hard to change unless you're willing to really be honest and objective about the issue. You know, it's very, very difficult to change it because you're, you're living in this kind of wishy-washy world where you're, you're sabotaging your own development, but at the same time, you're sabotaging your ability to be honest about it. So the first thing is to recognize, okay, I'm in a protective mode. I don't want to take risks because they are scary, because they expose me to the intensities of emotion. And once that level of self-honesty is totally present within you, then you can start to work on self-sabotage. From a level of bioenergetics or Reikian work, the kind of exercises you need to do are, are either exercises which open up your throat or any other of the sort of vertical blocks along the channel, particularly the diaphragm, but the throat is the most important because that enables you to speak your truth more easily. And secondary, exercises which open your chest because when your chest is more open, your heart is more open, it feels more comfortable to have intense emotions whether they be anger or whether they be vulnerability. So the kind of exercises you can look for on my channel are like chest opening exercises where we, you know, we pull the shoulders forward, we pull the shoulders back, we pull the shoulders up, and we do this, you know, three repetitions on like a two minute ding, you know, and we really breathe and feel the body as we're doing this, maintaining the stretch, breathing and feeling. For the throat, the dragon's breath exercise is good. Also, the right to exist exercise, although it doesn't aim primarily at the throat, opens up a channel from the belly to the throat. So these types of exercises will absolutely help. But there's an important caveat here. Very often working in this field, I get people who, it's kind of like they know they have a psychological issue. They don't really want to admit it or deal with it, but they want an exercise that can kind of take it away or resolve it. And to a degree, the exercise will help, but you also have to be very honest and you have to be willing to confront yourself on a level that you feel, you know, you feel safe with, that you can take a step, that you can take a step outside of your comfort zone. Because working with self-sabotage or working with low self-esteem, which in many ways are very similar things, you must also be willing to take more risk. And that also has to happen in quite an intelligent and gradual fashion. You know, some people create like a persona through which they go out and meet the world, you know, and they become this ultra confident, good looking or smiley person or whatever. But it's a front. It's not real. Maybe they learn ways to kind of, you know, push competitors aside. But all this stuff is a bit fake. It's a front. So when you're confronting self-sabotage, you know, simply creating a false persona with which to meet the world, you know, it's not really going to help. It's much better to say, okay, I want to go for this new job. What's the next step I can take? Okay, I'm very attracted to this person. What is a step that I can take? Feeling my body as I do it. Gradual behavioral steps to move yourself towards where you want to go are very, very useful. And of course, there's still, you know, when I talk about not having a persona and a front, of course, to a degree, we all have a persona and a front myself included, when I face the world. And there's nothing wrong with this, but you don't want to create it so that it's too detached from your real self. So in some situations in life, yes, we just need to front it out. Some challenges, that's the only way they can be dealt with. Sometimes if you're in a leadership role, you might not feel good, you might not feel confident, but you know to get everybody together, aligned and moving forwards, you need to fake it. 
And all that stuff is okay. It's simply that if you allow your persona to completely take over and just suck energy from your body, at some point, you know, that is going to collapse and you're going to be in a whole heap of trouble. So these are the three basic steps that I recommend if you know you are self-sabotaging. One, be honest. I am protecting myself from deep emotions. That's what I'm doing. Be honest. Secondarily, look at exercises that work with your throat, with your chest, with your diaphragm and your belly. And thirdly, look for intelligent risks that you can take. Stuff that's a bit scary, but not stuff that you're going to just like completely dissociate from yourself and create an entirely fake persona. Okay, cool. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Feel free to like and subscribe me and all that stuff. And do check out my online courses and books. There are links below in the description. Thank you.